Going to prison is kind of like playing the lottery. Rob a 7-Eleven in one city and you'll spend your incarceration time like everyone else, working out in the yard and avoiding the showers as much as possible. But rob it in another and you'll be sentenced to 10 years of mind-bending insanity. See, sometimes prison is really weird, and in the video today we're looking at 10 of the weirdest places to do time. Number 10. The Holiday Prison in Norway If you're going to do time, for the love of God, do it in Bastoy. With almost no security and ample leisure facilities, you'd be forgiven for thinking this remote Norwegian prison was a holiday center. But you'd be wrong. Bastoy houses murderers, rapists, and all sorts of nasty people you don't want to imagine having a good time. Yet the rooms come with writing desks and flat screen TVs. The windows are barless, and professional cookery courses are available in the prison kitchens. Justice in Norway sometimes seems to lack a bit of well, justice. To be fair, there's a lot of reasoning behind this. Bastoy is reserved for bad dudes who are showing promise with rehabilitation. The idea is to bring them here and give them responsibilities that will ease them back into the real world. And part of that involves them looking after baby cows. Yep, that's right, in Norway, killers are given adorable animals to look after. Weirdest of all, it really works. Bastoy has the lowest reoffending rate in the whole of Europe. Number 9. The Dark Knight Rises Prison in Rwanda Remember the prison Bane chucked Batman in halfway through The Dark Knight Rises, the one that was basically hell on earth? Well, meet its real-life equivalents. Gitarama City Prison in Rwanda is little more than a dusty hole in the ground. Unfortunately, that hole is currently filled to over 20 times its intended capacity. The result has been all sorts of indescribable misery. Mass infections routinely break out and starvation is not uncommon. There have even been reports of inmates cannibalizing each other just to stay alive, and that's before we move on to the general conditions. The standing room only, human waste covers the floor, and inmates' limbs actively decay on their bodies. If there's one place on earth you don't want to be, it's in that prison. Number 8. The custom-built prison, Pitcairn Islands The Pitcairn Islands are an infinitely remote chain of islands in the empty wastes of the Pacific, inhabited by as few as 60 people. In 2004, it was revealed that one in ten of the islanders had been engaging in some seriously unpleasant activities with underage girls, and Justice realized it was a bit stuck. See, Pitcairn doesn't really have a judiciary. The inhabitants are descendants of the bounty mutineers, and no one was sure whose jurisdiction the islands came under. Eventually, Britain stepped up and agreed to prosecute, at which point it became apparent that Pitcairn had nothing resembling a prison, and, well, they'd have to build one. So, in 2006, the UK flew out a bunch of contractors and jailers who then had to build a prison from scratch, incarcerate 10% of the islanders, and then guard them until they were released a few years later. Currently, the islanders plan to turn the empty prison into a cafe or boat club, a move which kinda seems to lack a bit of foresight. Number 7. The Prison with Its Own Golf Course Louisiana State Penitentiary is, by and large, a unremarkable place to serve time. It's violent, has the chair, and the history is brutal. However, it also manages to chuck something the inmates way that most prisons would never dream of. That's a golf course. No joke, LSP is probably the only maximum security on prison to have a custom-built golf course, and that's not all the inmates get. The building has its own radio station, printing press, TV studio, and airstrip. Basically, it's pretty much like a fully functioning city, only one absolutely crawling with violent criminals. In other words, it's sort of like the future New York in Escape from New York, only with more golf. Number 6. The Prison with Its Own Mental Disorder Imagine a prison so inhuman, so psychologically brutal in its treatment of prisoners that it has its own syndrome named after it. Now, where do you think such a place could possibly be? Maybe in Russia, Syria, Iraq? Well, no, try the United States. Pelican Bay State Prison is notorious for its solitary confinement section, its shoe, where prisoners are denied contact for 22 hours a day, kept under fluorescent lights away from the sun, and only exposed to exercise once a week. The results, as you might expect, are not pretty. Prisoners often suffer from shoe syndrome, a condition that's said to resemble PTSD, which you might recognize as something usually found in combat veterans and survivors of disease. So remember, kids, if you're going to get illegally drunk and steal a traffic cone, just make sure you're not in Pelican Bay's jurisdiction when you do so. Number 5. The Two Man Prison Sark is a tiny island between the UK and France. The population is less than 600, and it was the last place in Europe to drop the feud 
feudal system in favor of democracy, ushering in elections for the first time in 2008. It has exactly the sort of weird, eccentric prison system that you ought to expect from a semi-empty British outpost stuck in the past. For one thing, it looks like a public toilet, and for another, it's absolutely tiny. The one place on the island but drunks, and it's only capable of holding a maximum of two people. This officially makes it both the world's smallest and stupidest prison. Congratulations, Sark. Number 4. The Hilariously Corrupt Mexican Prisons Mexican prisons are notorious for their overcrowding and brutality. However, that's only one side of the story. The other is that Mexicans have the most comfortable prisons on Earth, thanks to the often hilarious levels of corruption afflicting the system. In 2011, officials discovered a secret lottery being run among prisoners in Sonora State to win a luxury cell with its own fridge, TV, DVD player, and air conditioner. As bizarre as this is, it has nothing on what a surprise inspection uncovered in an Acapulco prison. According to the BBC, officials unearthed, and we quote, a hundred plasma televisions, 19 prostitutes, two sacks of marijuana, and a hundred cockerels for cockfighting. Number 3. The Naked Prison There's nothing funny about an enforced stint in Chikarubi Prison, Robert Mugabe's notorious hellhole on the outskirts of Herere. Here, disease, filth, and violence are endemic. The temperature often drops as low as zero degrees, and prisoners have been known to suffer up to two years without sunlight. However, none of that compares to the strangest aspect of all. New prisoners are often required to spend over a year completely naked. Seriously, Kevin Woods, Michael Smith, and Philip Condrawo were incarcerated in 1988. For the first 18 months, they were forced to do everything but naked. Even when temperatures dropped below freezing, they were denied blankets or even a rag to wrap themselves in. How or why they eventually got clothes is a bit of a mystery, but if there's anything worse than spending one and a half years naked in a violent African jail, well, we're yet to hear it. Number 2. The Glory Hole Prison Like most African prisons, Mapimba Prison in Burundi is an unpleasant place. People are detained there indefinitely. Children are born and die between its walls, and abuse and harassment are terrifyingly common. In the middle of all of this decadence sits one of the strangest barriers in existence. Originally designed to keep the male and female prisoners separate, the wall running through the middle of the prison has since been cut full of holes. The idea is that prisoners line up either side and, how shall we say this, release their tension through the wall? The outcome is a disturbingly high rate of pregnancy among the female population. Yet guards do nothing to discourage the practice, even using the wall themselves sometimes. So, yes, it's a functioning glory hole right there in the middle of one of the world's most overcrowded prisons. Number 1. The Pirate Paradise The Republic of Seychelles is one of the smallest nations on Earth, a tiny island's paradise off the coast of Africa. Most of its money comes from tourism, as Russian oligarchs and powerful stockbrokers fork out up to $4,500 a night to stay in one of the island's villas. However, the Republic is also home to a special pirate prison, built exclusively to detain Somali pirates. In banana groves and on beaches, some of the world's most violent hijackers spend their days idly sunbathing and awaiting trial. According to one BBC correspondent who visited, the place is basically a paradise, with the captured Somalis getting a free extended vacation on an island that that most of us can't even afford to think about visiting. So there you have it. If you want to spend three months lounging around in one of the most beautiful places on Earth, all you gotta do is become a pirate first. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below. Also, we've got a new channel. It's called Geographics. If you like today's video, you'll probably like it as well. We've got a video specifically about a particularly horrific Russian prison. I'm gonna link to that channel below. It's called Geographics. If I didn't mention that already, please do check it out. And as always, I'll see you next time.